Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Hopefully we'll get some rain tomorrow. In our rainy season, starting October, this is now four months later, we only had three occasions of running water. Hopefully we'll have some running water again tomorrow and the day after. Meanwhile, we are preparing for running water. This is the bottom of the creek. I have made a few changes. Um, what I wanted to do did not happen. I wanted to open this area here for the creek to split, to divert in many directions. But I have a boulder over there and a boulder over there and they don't want to move. So until I have done that, it must stay. And then I just took some more earth out of here. And then I prepared this area here. This is for our third rose garden. We have promised ourselves our New Year resolution that repeats that we will have every year a rose, a new rose garden. We have to do it where there is some shade in the afternoon. So uh, on the west of the creek is a good spot. Let's see that new rose garden. I'm absolutely amazed how badly I am. Bad judgment of level. I'm sure that is now lower on the left than on the right. Uh, sitting in the excavator I was totally convinced that I'm doing fine. Here I've made a spillway. Again, I'm convinced that it's going downhill towards me, but uh, until I've checked it, I will not know. I am embarrassed to say how bad I am at judging level. Living on the slope steep area doesn't help. Okay, this is my revenge uh, Gabian. Twice the water took my earthen wall away that I had here from this side to the other side. And uh, I stacked it with some rocks. And the other side is open because the tree trunk is there and the roots and I want to see how the water goes through on that side and I want to see how the water flows before I block that one up. This is on a concrete foundation but uh, this one was also upright and is not upright anymore. It is bulged, pushed, and uh, water is interesting. It will now drop here and then it will come up and I would like to see what is the effect. According to my little experience, is this is a good way to build these pacifiers uh, close to each other. Um, this area where Max is was as low as here and uh, the Gabion we have increased the height and uh, 
that is very promising. Here on the eastern side we have three different swale systems, meaning they get fed with water coming through a culvert from the road and three different places. This one has never received water. Idea is that it should overflow this end and then run into this old swell. But I have made another place to feed this middle swell, the older swell system. Still the middle swell system. The water used to come there from that earthworks down here and then this way but now it will go higher that way and then once this higher one is full I so this will be the natural flow and one this once all these systems are these swales are full I will block it higher up, open there, and then it can run here to this uh, older swale. A big adjustment. I mean, it's a small canal, but it will change a lot when the water is flowing. It doesn't flow fast here because the swales are quite wide and uh, it's on contour so hopefully I'll manage but I've said that many times before and then I was rudely surprised let's see this dog food bag sandbag weir has also not been tested it's in plastic bags because I want to know where to put a permanent structure. My feeling is that the permanent structure should come over here from that boulder this way. And I just want to see what happens here. So we have running water about six to eight times a year which doesn't give me a lot of opportunities to observe what is really happening because every time I learn and I make changes and then I have to wait for the next rain I would like to get rid of this plastic bags but I want to make sure that what I do build will actually benefit this whole area. There is a song from Bed Midler from a distance, which I really like, old. And uh, from distance, things look very different. Even humanity looks to be one, but when you get closer, things change. So, uh, I'm still complaining about my lack of proper judgment when it comes to contour and level. Uh, I did this and then it was definitely, I thought it was perfectly level and then I measured it with the A-frame first and I realized it wasn't and then I made some changes and then I used the laser and then I realized it wasn't. Wow. Also, it's the first time I used the excavator to do level work 
and uh, what a challenge I was used to digging uh, trenches and swales and holes and always the excavator supported on the blade here I pushed the blade I pulled the blade I scraped it with a bucket mamma mia anyway there's also some difference in soil structure this is very hard and rocky ah I had this compactor made so this will now be filled with sand I am going to rent it out to one of the billionaires with their spacecraft maybe they can have a launching pad here or a settled catch, catch it after launch site I'm joking I just try to keep the suspense going and then I had some canal here to get the water out and I discovered some foundational structures straight line here and one there where these rocks come from it was built by somebody this area hosted of what we know four different civilizations already so a lot of things happened over a long period of time um, we will plant this berm I opened here for the wheelbarrow to come through because we have to bring in the sand and uh, once again from a distance this pathway looks perfect for a wheelbarrow but once you start pushing a wheelbarrow here you re realize it is not smooth it's up and down up and down like here so uh, I thought maybe I can level it with the excavator but uh, should the rain come and with the mud I will make it worse so uh, we'll just have to dig in deep with our arms and wrists and hands and shoulders and necks and backs and legs and move 10 metric tons of sand which will be heavier with the water the rain to move it over to that area the rain might come at night again so I'll get my night patrol outfit ready and I hope to capture that and report good for me to record it on video and look after look at it afterwards I learn a lot because the water flows maybe half an hour and then it's all over and we have had many changes here so I have to run to all these areas and record the changes so that I can make proper observations some clouds in the sky it's a good sign till next time goodbye